introduce yourselves and uh, tell us where we're at. Sure. Hi guys, I'm Amrit and I'm a Fall 17 student and my major is Systems Engineering and Management. So I've been living here at Custer Parkway for almost a year and that's about me and I'll let him introduce himself. Hello everyone, I'm Rahul and I'm currently uh, uh, pursuing my master's degree here at UT Dallas and uh, I've been living here uh, for the past 10 months and uh, uh, that's it. Uh -huh. Now what's unique about this place compared to other student uh, housing? It's perhaps the most unique location you'll be finding off campus housing especially for grad students because it's a condo or basically a town home. Most students 99% of the students live in apartments and student communities and we chose to be a bit different so we don't live exactly in a community or a student apartment for that matter. It's a complete standalone house. So to be honest with you, I got this house off Craigslist so it's sort of a coup for me to get a house at this cheap rate and we all three have our individual rooms inclusive of all furniture and bed and you name the uh, facility which you would ask for in a room and we have all of these at a very sweet deal so yep, we sort of uh, did our way, did things our way, and it sort of came to fruition pretty well for us. So yeah. All right, guys, tell us about the cost of staying here at this condo. So basically, it's a three-bedroom oh, well, house, and so each of us have one, as I've stated previously. So I pay basically four seventy bucks for my house room, and this guy pays five fifty bucks for his room. He has the master bedroom, so he has an attached bathroom to it. Yeah, so that's a really clean and huge, huge. It's almost a suite where he lives, whereas we live in a decently mid-sized room with one common bathroom. So me and the other roommate, or flatmate of mine, rather share a bathroom, whereas he has. Has its own private space massive amount of closets and a huge nice swanky bathroom to him too <laughs> yeah. and uh, my uh, uh, the rent of my room is uh, 550 as he told and uh, it's a master bedroom and uh, yeah, I have a bed to I have a bed uh, in my room and we have all the amenities like table chair uh, everything has been provided by our landlady. Yeah, our landlady uh, was really sweet yeah. and kind. So as you'll be seeing in the video, and I've already seen, we have a lot of furniture, including the sofa, the dining table, various kitchenware has been provided by our landlady. So we didn't have to carry much from back home. So we had more baggage space. That's really important when you come for good, when you come from India all the way out here, you know you'll be getting a uh, hundred pounds maximum of free uh, checked baggage so it's very important to use that baggage space provided to you very carefully and very wisely so we had more space to get our own personal items and keep the massive kitchenware and the massive utensils which one would be very keen on carrying out here so yeah, we, we had lucky. no space on that so we are really lucky yeah. and we have been provided with most of the stuff including a lot of containers and a lot of cups and mugs so yeah we were pretty blessed that way to get an apartment like this. Yeah, so. we got almost all the utensils that we needed. And so we all have our own huge, he has a king size bed, I have a queen size bed and we have study tables, study chairs, two dressers, he has a massive closet, he has a room full of closet rather for that matter. So we are pretty blessed with space and furniture and the free stuff which usually students out here pay around 50 to 100 bucks for. Alright, we are in the penthouse suite. Yeah, um, the, the presidential suite of our house. What's some other helpful information about um, staying at uh, this part on, on Custer? Um, so uh, this is my room. We actually, we got a good deal and we coordinated with our landlady and we got all the uh, furniture like uh, if you can see here, I got the bed, uh, even the bed sheets, everything, the table, chair, uh, even the closets, Almira, uh, I got it uh, from the landlady itself. So uh, if, uh, we were lucky, I think. So and this is a pretty quiet American neighborhood, so you will barely find a student. I guess we three are the only UTD students out here remaining. All are either working professionals or retired American families and households living out here. So it's one of the most peaceful and quiet communities you will come across the entire length and breadth of UTD, be in the tourism for that matter. So you have your own private uh, parking spot a shaded parking spot for that matter if you have a private vehicle to yourself so yeah it's basically how people usually dream back home of living in america the american life the the big american rooms the bigger american house with a parking spot to yourself and uh, although it's a big 10 minute 10 to 15 minute walk to the bus stop and the nearest grocery store which is tom thumb so basically we live off the best runner road it's basically on the east side of the campus to give you a broader perspective of where we are at right now so from the closest bus stop which is close to the marquee apartments which has been covered previously in the video we have to have a, a 10 to 12 minute walk so it's quite a walk during the sunny summer afternoons mm. so that's one big con which we have to face on a daily basis but i guess we've gotten used to it so we try soaking in the vitamin d and get a nice healthy exercise to ourselves so after having the 10 minute walk we have your rooms to yourself and it sort of compensates for all the hard 
sweat and all the heat and sweat rather for that matter which you have to endure for the 10 12 minutes of your journey back home okay we're here in uh, Amrit's room now uh, so tell us um, what are just some of the other amenities here at the society uh, or nearby um, that's the second point we don't have many amenities out here the only amenities which you'd be availing out here would be a swimming pool which is like a stone throws away from where we are at right now and we have a cute little patio to ourselves so if you feel like chilling outside your house for a moment so it's a pretty good place we have four chairs and a nice table and a big umbrella stand for the summer so that you can have a nice time to yourselves in the patio so these are the only two amenities which you would be availing if you are choosing this place to live so and on the pros and cons of already enlisted uh, previously and yeah we have decided to move to other apartment uh, come fall our biggest con being the travel and the commute and since we live on the east and we know previously that the buses only come a month and every 30 minutes so that's a big con for us and we really have a race against time so just to prevent that and to have more ease of access to the campus and to the college in general we've been choosing we've chosen to live on the western part of the campus so that's oh and if you'd like to add something to it I think that's about it. I think he has come But if you do choose everything. to live uh, with a private room, single room, a private single room on campus or off campus would really cost you a fortune. Easily 700 or north of 700 for that matter. Whereas for 470, as you can see, I have a queen size bed, I have a study table chair, I have a nice dresser, a big walk in closet, and another dresser too. So that really helps. I have plenty of furniture. So yeah, if, some, if those are high on the priority list and not the commute, if you can manage the commute and the heat and a bit of isolation because you won't be interacting with that many students since you will be the only students out here if you can handle all of that and if privacy is of the highest priority to you then sign yeah, up for 264 for Pathway. Car or a bike it's really yeah, convenient to we being yeah. grad students and master students and obviously we don't have cars to ourselves right now so for us we heavily rely on the public uh, transport especially the utd shuttles provided by the college so yeah but if you have if you're not reliant on those and you have a private vehicle or a bike for that matter your own self you can just bike your way to school is just a mile off and it's a good exercise it's just 10 minutes from where we are at now so yeah if you have private vehicles then it's the best place to be awesome yeah. great yeah. information guys thank you so much you're welcome hey friends thanks for joining us again at chai and coaching hope this will help you to be successful as an international student here in america please subscribe like follow share comment below um, or on our other platforms online and continue the conversation help each other out so yeah, it was great having you join us at Chai and Coaching and we'll see you guys next time.